So here we are in the rendering part of the tutorial. I'm going to walk you through uh, several of the brushes that I've created uh, for the custom palette and explain uh, how I use some of my brushes. So uh, starting out here, I uh, this is one of the brushes I use the most called the Flat Rendering Marker 2 brush. It's a custom brush I created to uh, just lay down quick color. Uh, it uh, goes down nice and quick. There's no texturing in it, no um, feathering or anything. Uh, I like brushes that are simple and clean and I can lay down quick color with. Uh, one of the other brushes I use quite a bit is the rectangle eraser. As you can see there, I erase the edges real quickly uh, with the color that had gone over my lines. It gives you a nice crisp edge. Uh, I draw a lot of man-made objects, so that brush is perfect for that kind of stuff. Then I use the uh, digital soft airbrush quite a bit. Uh, as you can see here, I created the clouds really quickly with it, uh, just to give some quick texture in the sky. And then I went over it with a, a grain or the a square grainy pastel to add some highlights and texture to the clouds. So in creating this palette, I really wanted to keep it very simple and clean so that you could uh, get your ideas out very quickly. Um, <clears throat> when you're working in the concept industry, you got to move quick and fast. So you want to keep your palette fairly simple. And I kind of created this uh, palette just uh, based on, you know, traditional materials that I would use, you know, if I was sketching in my sketchbook. And, uh, you know, you only have a few pencils, maybe an eraser, and then also, uh, you know, maybe one tube of gouache and some markers. So, you know, I kept the palette very limited as if I was working with traditional materials. So you'll see me just uh, going through, um, you know, using a few different brushes, but not many. You know, my main brushes have been the flat rendering marker brush, uh, the digital soft airbrush, and I'll use the square grainy pastel along with the square soft pastel. Um, the difference between those two brushes is uh, I took out the grain out of the square soft pastel, and it just lays down opaque color. And I'll go in and sometimes use that for detailing and... Uh, sometimes even as a white uh, pencil. But those are the main airbrushes that are the main brushes I use to create my, um, you know, to create the painting that I've done here. Uh, with this part here, I use a couple of the effects brushes. I end up using the, uh, the square grainy chalk again to lay down the white. And then I went over it with the hurricane brush and then use the uh, smeary bristles to create direction and the pulsing, uh, a jet trail that you see there. So as I get ready to wrap up my rendering here, hope you guys enjoyed watching me go through my process and uh, I really encourage you to download the Painter 12 demo since it's up now and feel free to start creating stuff yourself and uh, check out the different palettes that all the artists have created and just uh, start creating stuff. So I'd like to thank you for your time and I'd really encourage you to download my palette and install it. And I'm hoping it works out for your own creation process.